Okay, YouTube. I'm going to do a review on this DR Leaf and Lawn vacuum because when I was researching it, I didn't find a whole lot of information. I figure anybody else researching it should be able to find that information. So here we are. The problems are a couple. Uh, it's a fairly new product from them. There's another company that makes one identical to it and their patent ran out and DR basically copied it, but there, there's flaws. A, the hose, which is a normal wear and tear item on, a, on something like this, wears out too fast. The reason is that, well, I'm, I'm, I guess if you're leaf vacuuming a golf course with nothing but leaf and the leaves and grass, you'd be all right. But if you got anything like, you know, sticks and acorns, you got problems. This intake chute for the C pump doesn't angle enough towards the lawnmower. And what that means is that the, the hose itself is forced to angle more. And when you turn your machine to the left, it straightens the hose and causes the hose to, of course, the curve curvature of the hose to increase. That means this debris flying through here impacts the hose and causes ruptures all along the hose. They've, they replaced the hose once, uh, about a week after I got the machine, and then uh, I tried to have it replaced again. They told me that nobody else is having this problem, so I must be not using the machine correctly, which I'm going to have to go ahead and call bullcrap on that. I think it's probably a common problem because they need to extend this intake chute so that it angles towards the machine more. And then they need to provide a steel reinforcement plate here. If you look at the inside of this, wait, I don't know if you can see the inside, but I want to say this, on the, on the inside of this housing is a, probably about an eighth inch steel plate, which is bolted. That's what these bolts are for. I read articles with the, the Brindley Hunley version where they had originally had had problems with the, this eventually wearing out and then you'd have ruptures in the housing and, they, and with the Brindley Hunley model, they had to add this. Well, I guess obviously uh, DR read the same article because they added one there is that's good. But the problem is, is now it was wearing out my hose too fast. So they need, as I said, to, to fix that problem. There's engineering, you know, perspective there. Also, I wonder about this because obviously debris is going to be hitting here and there's no, that I can tell, reinforcement here. So I wonder if this is someday going to go. Other problems. Uh, here. As you can see, they double stitched the canvas here because the chute dis dis discharges and hits the back wall. And that's awesome. I mean, they, that was forward thinking. I'm sure they probably researched and found out how to fix that. But the problem is, is that that reinforcement needs to extend up here and it needs to extend over this part of the, the uh, wedding or the, the screen. See, again, got problems with stuff coming through right there. That happened the first day I was using it. I always kind of figured I would just fix that myself. I haven't even said anything to them about it, you know. But this is just a lot of small engineering problems that they either didn't think it through. I don't know if they figure nobody's going to use it for anything but picking up leaves. I mean, yeah, you're going to... I can't... I got... You see my land here. It's just a small section. I got five acres. It all looks exactly like this. And there's, I can't, there's billions of acorns on the ground, literally, literally billions. I can't pick them all up. I'm going to pick up acorns and tiny little sticks. So either way, I guess if you're picking up leaves off of a perfectly manicured golf course with absolutely no little small debris, you'd be all right. Other problem, there's three main problems, hose, uh, reinforcement, and of course here, this cap doesn't, it's not vented. Or if it's supposed to be vented, it's not working. One way or another, there's no way to to allow air to come into this tank while the fuel's being depleted. So it'll vapor lock on you and you'll be mowing along and all of a sudden you gotta get off and stop. And of course, when the fuel level's higher, it you got uh, a greater occurrence of that happening. And the other problem is that, well, it's kind of a good thing, I guess, but the, the intake, the, the fuel only goes down to about here before you're running out of fuel already. So it, you only get 
probably about two or three uh, container full out of a tank at the most where you know there's enough capacity here you should be able to get quite a bit more for some reason they again I don't know why they designed it that way uh, outside of that suction power on the machine is exceptional I, I give them that it's, it's it's really good it'll dang sure get anything that you need to get and uh, it works pretty good with my with my hustler greatest machine that's a 10 year old machine right there well hell 03 is when that Honda engine so 12 year old machine and uh, it's been on this property for 12 years now getting being run through the ring ringer and runs just fine starts like a champ okay well that'll uh, that'll do it for my review